hello everyone this is amrit pal singh welcome to the next video guys in this video i am going to show you how we can implement svr in r studio in my previous video i have already have explained what svr support vector regression is all about and in this video we're going to implement the same and for the data set which i'm going to use in this video it will be the same data set which i've used in the polynomial regression so let's get started so first of all this is the data set i'm going to use the we have a three columns available position level and salary so what's our scenario let's let's talk about this scenario first that what we're going to do in this video so let's suppose we have a company and we're going to hire one employee okay and employee is saying that uh, in the interview the employee has said that he's he was earning uh, 160k per year and he was having the 20 years of the experience all right and the hr people uh, was not uh, like was was little uh, Maybe confuse that how much salary they should offer to this employee. So what they did is that they just simply did some little investigation and tried to fetch some data from the previous employer. This is the data set they got from a previous employer. And as per this data set uh, that we have got three columns available and the HR people also got to know that he was serving as a region manager for two years. All right. So that, but there's one rule available in that company that uh, in order to promote from region manager to partner, there must be a gap of four years means four years of experience being region manager but he's having a two years of experience so it means that he's falling in in the level between six and seven it means that we're gonna have the level 6.5 for this employee all right it means the salary should fall between 150k to 200k per year okay and as per the uh, graphical representation also suggests that it's a non-linear representation that between the salary and the level so the task is, is to find the salary of this guy who is going to have uh, our level 6.5. All right. So let's do it with the help of SVR. For that, first of all, we need to load a data set. I'm going to use the data set which I already told you, which I used in a previous video. So it is the same data set. Let's uh, get it started. I'm going to have one variable Q1, okay, in which I'm going to read this data set. Okay. It's available in my D drive. Okay. I'm going to have this in my, with a name position salaries. Okay. Position underscore salaries okay and dot csv it is done and also specify header equal to true okay this is the uh, little uh, command for it so let's check it out so we got this data set properly read now uh, we don't want the first column so we need to ignore that first column because we just want the numerical data in which this level will be serving as the independent variable and salary will be by dependent variable so are we going to have this q1 and two colon three done so we got the subsetting done afterwards uh, actually for this svr we're going to uh, use the functionality of svm svm although it's called support vector machine it has the use case for both classification as well as for regression and we're going to use svr means it is the uh, like one of the task of svm to perform it in the regression background so let's let's implement let's try to include the functionality of svm which is available under the package e1071 i've already installed with the command install.packages e1071 let's load the library and loads let's load the that package which is e z1071 okay done because under which we have svm defined afterwards we're going to uh, define our regressor okay this regressor uh, is will be will be using svm function it is having a lot of parameters available the first parameter is formula as we used to have in the basic linear regression also it says that dependent variable tilde independent variable so dependent variable is salary and independent variable is dot dot i've already explained earlier also dot meaning is all the independent variables although you can write level also instead of dot dot means all the independent variables okay if they are more okay and data a variable is going to have the q1 because q1 has my data set okay and then type very important type it means we have to define that what kind of problem we are having classification regression because we're going to have regression so we need to use eps hyphen regression eps hyphen regression is going to be my uh, type press enter it is done now let's try to predict the uh, result for level 6.5 employee which I've, i was talking about for that i'm going to use uh, another variable let's suppose er equal to predict let's try to predict with the predict function in the predict function first it will be having a regressor and after regressor we're going to have we need to create one data frame here data frame of one column and one row okay it means a cell okay because we need just we need to form we need to uh, find only for the uh, 
uh, that particular employee which we're going to hire not for the entire uh, set of uh, the list of values okay so here i'm going to specify level equal to which one 6.5 okay 6.5 only a specific value done so let's see what's the result we got er is showing 177861 which is clearly a right value because i've told you the uh, the value should lie between 150k and 200k it is just somewhere middle it okay so let's try to visualize the results now with the ggplot that the way we did earlier also so let's lo load a library which is called uh, ggplot2 ggplot2 let's load it afterwards let's uh, now uh, implement the same we're going to have the ggplot function ggplot function okay afterwards let's uh, append some uh, important layers to it first of all i'm going to have gom point for my uh, graph okay gom point and i'm going to have specifying aesthetics aesthetics will be on the x level and the x uh, x axis we're going to have the q1 q1 uh, level okay and on a y axis i'm going to have uh, q1 dollar salary okay done afterwards what we're going to do is let's also specify the color i'm going to have the color as red okay done afterwards what we're going to do is i'm going to have now uh, after red i'm going to define here um my gm line because i want to also uh, because here i'm going to have both the uh, predictive predicted and the actual values for that i'm going to have the gm line so gom underscore line and here i'm going to have again the same thing available aesthetic uh, on the x-axis i'm gonna have the uh, q1 dollar um, uh, level again okay done and i'm going to have on y-axis q1 dollar uh, we can have uh, okay in the y-axis we need to uh, do the prediction now y equal to predict predict okay on the prediction i'm going to have regressor okay regressor so red red markers will be my actual points and the blue one will be my prediction so i'm going to use blue color for it so new data equal to uh, i'm going to have q1 and uh, afterwards let's also define the color color equal to blue okay blue okay done afterwards what to do again also you can add some title to it gg title is the one i'm going to use gg title and in the title i'm going to define maybe svr representation whatever you can you can write as a title and afterwards um, we are done with this and then we're gonna have now x label and y label x lab i'm going to have level and we're gonna have the last one is going to be y label y lab and we are done with this this stuff okay let's see if it's working or not i'm going to run this okay we have some error here let me check out we must have done some mistake here let me just figure it out maybe some comma something is missing aesthetic q1 level q1 salary it's all done then we have color equal to red okay it is done then gm line aesthetic and then q1 level okay it is all done uh, gm line aesthetic level y equal to predict regressor new data equal to q1 and then okay 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 i got it got it got it, got it. okay so this was a mistake i was having extra parentheses available let's check it out now let's see this graph properly this is my representation and you can see this these are the uh, red lines red red dots means actual data and the blue means prediction and you can see it is almost fit in this okay the our model is almost fit in this and you can see here also for the level 6.5 it means it is falling here somewhere it's also uh, i guess pretty much uh, pretty much accurate representation of our salary which we're going to offer to that employee uh, so i hope uh, you must have understood uh, that what svr is all about it's a non-linear curve we got and the, uh, the red dots means my actual data and the blue ones is going to be uh, what we have predicted 
okay so you can see it here one thing we have here is that as we are haven't incorporated this point because the outlier the ceo salary which is uh, maybe he is earning this much okay per year the ceo is sal ceo salary is outlier in our representation rest all the points are been incorporated all right i hope you must have understood from this little short little video that what s is svr and how we can represent in the or we how we can implement it in a r language thanks for watching guys see you next video